Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jenskol and welcome to a house tour in Sims Free Play. This house, well, it's not actually just one house, you can see here, this is the view from the town map. It is this that we are going to be touring today and it is eight little tiny houses on one lot. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer. Now we're inside the lot, you can see the houses close up. Obviously this was done on a premium size lot. We've got a little baby crawling back to the house over there. Yeah, it was on a premium size lot and there are eight houses all together, each with a different type of person living in there. So we've got like a house for an old couple, a single mum and baby, a single woman, a single man, a couple, all different types of kind of people live in these houses and they're all themed a little bit differently. Obviously, the outsides look the same. I would love it if we could have our different buildings have different roofs and different exterior walls. That would really be something amazing. Like, I would love to have had different roofs on these and stuff, but we couldn't, so that's fine. We've just made do with what we can have. The houses are all six by six squares, and it was quite difficult, let me tell you, doing eight different houses in six by six space. They are very, very small. Let's go ahead and we will take a little look at all of them. This first house here is owned by Amy. Single woman, she lives on her own. She loves the color pink, as you can see. She's even painted her windows, her window frames pink there. You enter the house, there's a patio. Most of the houses, in fact, I think all of the houses have got a little patio area. And this and this first one, we'll come into the patio here. There's a nice little seating area out here. Let's, let's turn this fire on, because that looks to me like a really nice place to sit. In an evening, chill out by the fire. And then when you go into her house, there's the living area is all one room. So you've got the lounge and the kitchen. It's all very tight. You'll see as we're looking around the houses, it's all a very tight squeeze in these houses. Like she has her all of her living area there and she's got everything she needs. She's got her kitchen, she's got her sofa and Italian stuff, she's happy. She's even got somewhere to sit and eat her meals up there, like a little table. And then over on this side, we can go through a door here to get into the bathroom. Mm -hmm all decorated pink of course and then through an archway that takes you into her bedroom which is all of the pink things everywhere pink everywhere in this bedroom pink flooring pink flowers pink wardrobe pink everything that is the first house let's go across the way to the second house and this is owned by Isabel who lives here with her little toddler daughter you can see there on the um Drawing a picture there on the chalkboard. A little toddler daughter, Sophia. Isabel got pregnant quite young. She's a single mum. She hasn't got much money. It is a tight squeeze for these two in this house. And obviously they can't have their own individual bedrooms and lots of stuff, but they don't mind it. They are happy. They have a little porchway here with some toys for Sophia to play with. And there's a nice little duck pond over here that Sophia likes to go and feed the ducks. When you enter the house, you enter into like the little kitchen area and there's literally this tiniest kitchen. It's just got your fridge, your sink and your cooker there. She hasn't got other work surfaces. She has to use the fridge to chop her vegetables and things when she's preparing food. And then it comes into this main area here where there's like literally everything in here that they need other than the bathroom, which is over there. Again, the bathroom is just shower, sink, and toilet, very small. And then in their main living area and bedroom area, they have their beds, to be honest. Isabel probably should go for a single bed. There isn't really the space for her to have a double bed in this place. Maybe she'll, uh, maybe she'll downsize at some point. But we have her double bed there. We've got Sophia's little toddler bed. And then they kind of just have... These bean bags is their seating area. They haven't got a TV or anything because they don't really watch TV. They're, they're quite outdoorsy type people that they'll go out all the time and go and feed the ducks and go and play on their bikes and things. And they don't really watch TV, so they didn't really need it. They're happy to have some bean bags. And they kind of just sit at this table here on the floor with their legs crossed to eat their food. There is a wardrobe there as well, which for some reason you can't see. Don't, oh, there we go. There's the wardrobe there to where they store all of their clothes. And that is house number two. 
Let's go up here to our third house. This is owned by Melissa and she is a young professional. She's just started her first job and this is her first house and she loves it. She loves how she's gotten it. It's a small, it's the first thing that she can afford but she is happy with it, absolutely. For this one, you go through this little gated area here. It's such a cute little area. There's a, there's a bench there that you can sit on. And then around here, she has her friends round quite often and they sit outside in the evenings, chilling out, listening to music, chatting. When you go into her house, you're faced immediately with the bathroom and there's a little corridor that leads into her main living area. And in the living area, Again, she has everything she needs. It was really interesting and really challenging doing eight different houses so small. It was good to try out different things and different um, different formations of rooms and how I could make things different. I would definitely recommend doing something like this. It was really quite fun to do. It was just something a little bit different. Yeah, she, she's got everything, everything she needs here. Nice little different style of kitchen and sofa. Little TV there. And then into her bedroom, which is perfect for her. And that is house number three. Let's spin around and go over to house number four, owned by single woman Ruby. She has got, she's worked really hard on this house. She's really into interiors. She has chosen to live in this small type of house. She could afford something much larger, but she likes the whole tiny house thing. She kind of wants to live a little bit off grid and she's into all of that type of stuff. So this is her house. She's really into her plants. You can see she's got a nice little setup out here where she can sit and eat. When you go into her house, there is this nice area here where she can sit and watch the telly that is screened off to her bedroom. And she does have a double bed, not a double bed, a bunk bed, because she likes to have friends over and they kind of just like bunking together. She's crammed as much as she can into this little space. So she can have friends over and she's got herself a little bunk bed. And then over here, there is a bathroom. Nice little bathroom. I really like this bathroom. Quite simple, but quite nice. I like these plants, the little three plants together like that. And then she has a little kitchen off the side here. Everything she needs. And plus a little work surface there that she can, she can use. And yeah, I really, really like that house. Let's move on to house number five. This one, our single man Jackson is living. What is he doing right now? He's sitting down. I'm not entirely sure. Is he watching the telly down there on the floor? I think he is sitting down there on the floor watching telly. Well, he gets in here through the door and he has like a little entranceway here with some books and a nice little plant there. And then he has everything all in one room, he had, apart from his bathroom. He has a big bathroom over here. In comparison to what he, he's got in the rest of his house, this bathroom is really quite large, to be honest. He probably could have fitted a bath in there, but he hasn't. He's just got a shower. And then he's got everything else in this room. His bed, his TV, his, like, everything. It's all good, though. It's good enough for him, and he is happy with it. He also has, just outside on his patio, a pizza making oven. He likes to have all his friends around and the neighbours and cooks up the pizzas for everyone and they can sit around and enjoy that in the evenings. Moving on to house number six. She is out doing her meditation at the moment. She is really into yoga, meditation and spirituality. You can see that she's got this bamboo fountain and another fountain and these pictures of the, the leaves, she's really into all of that. Inside her house, she has got, she's into her exercise, she's got a fitness, she's got a bike, is that a bike? Or Yeah, she's got a bike there, or is it a cross trainer? I'm not sure what they classify it as, but she has one of those in her house, and yeah, it's just another, another nice little bill. And then she's got her kitchen through here, little bathroom here, with everything she needs and then her bedroom just there all very nice and then we've got our last two houses back here our baby is just wandering around the place this house is owned by single dad peter and his daughter this is a fairly basic house with cheap furniture and not too much going on within it because 
Peter can't afford so much. His wife was not a very nice person. She left once the baby was born and left, took all the money, took everything. And so he's had to start again. And so he's moved into this little house here where they are crammed in here with the sofa and the kitchen. They Like they haven't got a telly, they haven't got anything realistically at the moment. They've got a little bathroom over here. Peter is working so hard to try and upgrade them to a bigger house but at the moment this is what they've got this is his little bedroom here and then this is his daughter's bedroom with a few little toys for her to play with and then our last house over here is owned by Matilda and Frederick who I think are yeah they are around here playing chess at the moment. These are our retired couple and they downsized to a smaller house once all their kids moved out. They didn't want to live in the big house that they had anymore. They decided just to downsize and have a more simple life so that they can sit outside and play chess overlooking the beach. They've got their flowers that they enjoy tending to. They just really wanted a simplistic life. So you go into their house here into a little kitchen area. This is all one room here. Little kitchen area there, which is plenty big enough for them. Their bed, you have to access. I had a trouble because I wanted to place this bed, but it didn't fit with the, <laughs> with the like you couldn't get into it both sides. So I thought what I would just do is have it like this and then you have to access it through the archways depending on which side of the bed you're going to get into. Then they have a little space over here where they can sit and watch the telly and they have their bathroom and that completes the tour of our eight tiny houses by the beach. I really really enjoyed doing this like I said it was just really interesting to experiment and try doing some small builds and seeing what you can fit in them and like designing them in different ways. Definitely really enjoyed it. I would love to know if you know you've tried something similar or if you are going to try something similar. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!